current record of 0-1, looking for that first win. Lost his first fight by armbar. And that was back in 2010. Yeah, so, so we haven't seen him compete since 2010. Long time off and he uh, won amateur MMA fight. He's 1-0 and oh as an amateur in 2020 as well. So. Interesting to see. That's, uh, oftentimes that's a sign of somebody who took some time off, decided, you know, got their, uh, sort of their life in order a bit and, and decided, you know what, I want to come back. I want to revisit this now that I have some things together. Maybe he's made some adjustments to his training and things since that first loss. And that's, that's a lot of experience. You know, that guy's been training for well over a decade. And the gentleman that he lost to has a loss on his record to Jake Shields. So, oh, yeah. Uh, wow. As well as uh, Efrain Escudero. So, uh, on the Ultimate That's Fighter. So. Pretty good, man. Has to be a very legitimate yeah, opponent that, there, then. Yeah, that 0 and 1 is uh, perhaps a little bit deceiving. And then we have Thomas Gant. Thomas is 31 years old, fighting out of North Carolina, Raleigh, North Carolina, attended North Carolina State University, and he's got a record of one and one at pro. Won his last fight by guillotine choke against Paul Teague. That was at Showcase MMA 37 back in April. I saw this gentleman. Uh, cutting weight in the sauna yesterday while Griffin and I were in there. Very professional, very professional team around him. They even had one of the, like the officially calibrated scales with the uh, you know with the numbers separate from the scale itself. It's probably a lot better than the one the commission has. <laughs> Normally the commission brings the heat, but this time we did have a Taylor bathroom scale. Usually I see like a twenty dollar scale from the dollar store. <laughs> Every now and then it might be four pounds over. You never know. That's just what makes it interesting. And he actually, uh, Thomas Kane is actually 1-0. He has a loss, but it's in wrestling. Uh, that's also on his tapology. So he's 1-0 with a win over Paul Teague. And an amateur record of 5-0. Uh, wow. so, all within, all in a span from uh, May of 2023. So this guy's been staying active. So this is going to be a banger, huh? Yeah. I got a feeling we're going to see a high-level fight here. Yep. I mean, six fights in a year, year and a year and a month. I mean, that's an impressive pace. There's no port there, but <laughs> it's odd that they it. have such a big arena in Williams, right? It's, it is it's a over beautiful. 3, and that first one was bumping. I knew yeah. Keith was on to something. And when I spoke to Keith, and you know, I don't like a lot of promoters. I like Keith. Yeah. You know, speaking of I think ports, everybody's the same. Where's right? the port here in Bridgeport? I was going to go on a sunset sale before this fight. I don't. Yeah. I think they just had to come up with a name to make a place next to Clarksburg <laughs> for rich white people. Yeah. Bridgeport sounds like it fits that bill. It kind of sounds like it might be in New England somewhere. I saw a uh, cyber truck driving down the road the other day. I was like, what the heck's going on right here? And a Lamborghini today. Oh. Bridgeport's popping. Superman punch yeah. action. It's kind of a uh, Clark Kent punch there. A little bit. <laughs> He hadn't gotten to the phone booth yet. Stripped <laughs> off the <laughs> normal clothes. He's doing a good job so far of mitigating the range that Gant has on him. Interesting guard as well. Yeah. Hands out wide. 
but it makes your punches come from unique angles. Yeah. Those oh, were elbows. good clean elbow. They haven't seen any good elbows all night. Beautiful, Beautiful knee though. as well before that. Yeah. Seemed like I bothered him because he just came in shooting with his head straight down, which was odd. Yeah. But yeah, I think he was trying to get out of that plum clinch and that's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, straight right, right. Yeah. from Gann. Nice yeah. measure. Yeah, Gann appears to have. Uh, oh, that's a beautiful leg. Very confident yeah. stand up. Yeah, that measure punch. You don't see that a lot. He's using nice. the reach perfectly yeah. as well. He's putting everything on the end of his punches. You're seeing a good mix of the Dutch and the classic Thai styles. Too. Yeah, the way he's fighting in the clinch is very Thai style, and the way he's moving on the outside is a little bit on the Dutch kickboxing side. Beautiful. <laughs> But Hewlett hasn't taken any damage yet. No. Oh, oh that, no, one was good. that was a hard right hand yeah. that he took. And, he and a big knee to the body as well. Those will add up later this in this fight. We were, we were spot on. This is very impressive. Oh, and a short right hand over the top out of the clinch. So far, one of the most skillful technical matches so far. Good, beautiful right. use of that underhook to get him against the wall. Now he's going underhook wrist control. I'm very impressed with Gant. Yeah, Gant's under, underhook wrist control and that knee yeah. right in the space that you make with that wrist control. Now he's got head position. He might be starting to look uh, towards taking him down here against the cage. We've still got two minutes and 50 seconds. And you can, in the pro ranks here. you can see those knees are bothering Hewlett because he's trying to block him with that leg now. Yeah, he's kind of putting it out almost like that little pseudo standing butterfly type defense. So you know that last knee of the body, he felt that. Yeah. Now we might be looking at a drop Cosoto from here. Now that he's getting behind and shelf the leg up, but he's able to turn the corner. Excellent work from Hewlett getting out of trouble. Ah, oh, but a nice left hook and then right back. Oh, oh man, God. beautiful elbow. Right on the temple. And he's looking to close the show here. Good guard work, though. This is I exactly am why you use the guard. that that did not open a cut. Man, Absolutely. A beautiful elbow. Great. I mean, look at that nice guard work to save himself. He's recovering. He's got two minutes left, though. But look, he's doing everything right, which means it was, it definitely hurt him, but it didn't confuse him or daze him because he's got his wits with him right now. Now he's trying to use that half guard to get back to Turtle, maybe try to rip, uh, get his, uh, get underneath him and try to quad pot up. But This is a prime example of elbows doing the damage that really more people should be utilizing, right? This is yeah, the only, there's like, another. Like, oh, this is brutal ground. Look at those elbows to the body and yeah. one to the head. This, this is a man that knows how to use the elbows. I love it. Look at that. Like you said, he's he turning looked, up. But I, I thought about like, a leg lock there, but didn't have it. I wouldn't be surprised if he gets elbowed again. So yes, there they come. And they're looking to find Ooh, look another elbow. Where they could choke. Love it. Just punishing him here, though, yeah. on the ground. Beautiful work. Yeah. Oh, that's a beautiful elbow on the back. And a minute left. Good wrist in this ride. First round to work. Exactly. Yeah. Here comes another elbow. Ooh. Those are a little bit on the back of the head, or that one was, but. Ooh, oh, nice. And, and, solar solar the body. and I'm a big fan of guys using that. What kind of bring your hips in when somebody's trying to wall walk? Ooh, another pressure. elbow. Oh, another big one. These are He's brutal. Got 45 shots. seconds to survive. The ref's taking brutal. a really close look here. Oh, those are blocked, but gosh, they're painful, right? Look at this. No, he's going to stop. Excellent work. No complaints, right? Yeah. He, he, he was in a lot of trouble. Yeah. I think he knew that it wasn't. You know, well, look at, wasn't now we see the blood. Today. There's blood coming down off the face now. Yeah, I think some of those later elbows snuck through. If you don't, that's what's going to go down. Yeah, right. it, it, especially, I mean, it's one thing you get away with it, but with some people, but that guy knows how to throw elbows. Yeah. Man, look at that elbow. Gosh, look at that. Oh, gosh. It's so brutal, isn't it? Yeah, it's just an absolutely brutal thing.